mourning the loss of a 17-year-old girl who fell through ice on a frozen pond trying to rescue her dog. School district identifies her as 17-year-old Tristan Gaither. Today, classes were canceled and people came together to pray. News Tally's Lily Cummings is live tonight with how this is impacting that community. Lily. Mark and Neely to show you all just how close this is hitting to home. The superintendent says that she lived right behind the high school baseball field. Today, the family understandably didn't want to talk, but the community is showing its support and love in a moment that just doesn't make sense. I don't really have the words. I can just tell you she was a great kid and, you know, parents are great, great supporters of this school and this community. and. It's just a bad deal. Todd Bean, superintendent of Dewar School, says the high school has less than 100 students. Dewar's an everybody knows everybody kind of town. So when tragedy hit, his school and family felt it too. She was at a birthday party for my daughter last, last week. It was difficult. Yeah. In, in my house last night, it was difficult. Bean canceled classes despite being virtual already on Fridays, opening up the school with grief counselors for any student needing to talk. We've just kind of gone down the list and uh, you know, contacted students just to say if you need to talk, you know, it's not a good deal. It's not a good deal. Meanwhile, the family's church, First Baptist, praying and grieving with the community. Yeah, so um, received a, a call, a frantic call, Pastor Wells was at the home and had baptized her a few years ago. You could always tell that there was something intentional about her life. And for her to go after um, this animal that she deeply cared about showed her bravery and courage. And really, you know, maybe even the hope that if something happened that she knew where she was headed. While the folks around Dewar know she's now at peace, they're still grappling with the lesson of what it means when a beautiful spark is taken too soon. It's just part of the struggles and, and we have to continue on. We, we have to continue on. Tonight, the dog is alive with the family and the superintendent tells me that the community is not only dealing with this, but half the students may not have electricity or water due to the winter weather. Live in Dewar, Lily Cummings, News Channel 8.